as you get a look inside the Superdome here in New Orleans. Today, week 17 is upon us, and we've got a good one in store here, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New Orleans Saints. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from the Superdome. Taken at the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. They'll begin on the ground here with a band of Kanda. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now second and three. Now, here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. Well, that a great read by the secondary. They come up to stop that touch pass before it can even get back to the line. This defense not fooled one bit on that touch pass. And this has become one of those kind of in vogue plays, you know, kind of like the shuffle pass was a few years ago. This one never got off the ground, but you understand why a lot of teams are running it. These wide receivers, a lot of them, they run like running. Pressure comes, and Wilson's going to go down. N'Kobe Dean drops him for a loss of 10, and it's going to be fourth and long. Here comes the Saints punter now. Saquon Barkley deep to return. Yeah, last week in the loss, five punts as he gets this one away. Fielded at about the 28. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Now Hurts changing up the play. They'll start out on the ground, and Saquon Barkley give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Here's a second and five. Now they'll audible to something else. Second down, here's Hurts. He's going to look deep down the field. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Dallas Goddard, his second touchdown on the season. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Both sides of the football in sync early. You force the three and out, and then you take it down, score points. You know what that tells me? They sold their game plan really well. Head coach said, listen, we're just going to stop them on three and out. We're going to take the ball downfield and score. But he also told them how it was going to happen. They're going to run this. We're going to stop it. Then we're going to take the ball. They won't be able to keep up with us. And they got it done. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25.
Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball, the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt. They're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. On second down, it's Abanacanda. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Five yards on the carry there, and it leaves him with third and about six yards to go. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. He's going to rifle one deep left side. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. So the interception there, and Charles, I'd imagine that's something you can maybe live with in December, but not come January. And I love how you make the distinction there. You're talking about regular season versus the postseason, the playoffs. Because these guys, they've already clinched a playoff spot, but they know, looking ahead, when they get into the postseason, they've got to take better care of the football because turnovers at that situation, they really become magnified. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. 63, 63, 63. Throwing his hurts. Gets this out to Saquon Barkley. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Hurt's going to keep it running right. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. Six yards there on the keeper. It's second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. In motion right is Smith. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Give him 10 that time, escaping the danger, running with it, and picking up a first down. As he came to the line of scrimmage, he knew he didn't need much to reset the chain, so when he saw the space he needed, no hesitation. He went to the marker and got his guys a first down. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. Now you look at this Saints defense. We know they're going to be tough to throw on top three in the NFL defending the pass. They may be ranked third against the pass in the league, but they're the best that I've seen so far. Sometimes the numbers don't tell the full story. Hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Here's Hurts to throw. And a big loss here as he's taken down. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. The Eagles send out their punter now. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. And now a high kick, but he hit it straight up. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. It'll be called just a 22-yard punt. Certainly not what he wanted. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. They're still in search of an initial first down as they come up here first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Open man left side, Shahid has it. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 
An ideal beginning of the drive there as they'll get 20 and a first down. And from the gun, here's Abanacanda. And he stopped immediately there. Second and 10. Now it's Wilson. He's got a man. It's his fullback. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Here now, third and a yard. Is Shahid going to go in motion? Third down, here's a Banacanda. And some space here. And he is finally taken down, but not before he gets it to the Eagles eight. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. And they'll go again with a band of Kanda. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Here's Wilson. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. It's N'Kobe Dean with a pick. And the Eagles are going to have the football here at their own 18-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game, and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side. They begin with a run by Barkley. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down, here's Barkley again. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Hurt sets up to throw it. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Hurts connecting there with Brown for the Eagles first. And now an audible here into something else. A first down carry for Barkley. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the mark. Eight yard gain, second and two. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. 
We just saw the linebacker make that 63, play. 63, 63. Hey, 73, 73. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Oh, and Hurts is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. And they'll send the tight end in motion here. Third down, he'll drop to throw. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. Certainly looked like someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of separation there. Had that one covered pretty well downfield and knocked it away. This is brought in at the 21. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. And it will be first and ten as they take over. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Here's second and ten. On the handoff, a band of candor. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. We think, Brandon, I like the intensity this defense is showing right here in these first few drives. They're not just holding the line because they're doing their job, but they're doing more than that, aren't they? They're getting a nice push into the offensive backfield. And a great example right there for the loss on the tackle. Is Shahid going to go in motion? Third down, Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, based on what we've seen so far, I don't think you can even call this an off day anymore, partner, because this group we're watching, they are totally out of rhythm, trying to get their game plan up and running. That zero on the scoreboard is glaring down at them with every incompletion. This is taken at the 15. 154 left on the clock here in quarter number two. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? They're going to hurry back to the line now. Now Hurts looking to change the play. Throwing again on second down. Hurts escaping the pressure right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts right, right, right. as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. 
Well, looks like they'll move things around here. Running left, it's Barkley. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. It's caught inside the 25. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. complete to his running back. And he is going to lose yardage here. 63, 63, 73, 73, 73. Hey, silver, silver, silver. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Buying time to his left. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it, incomplete. Boy, that was lockdown coverage there. He's scanning for someone to come open. That was great work to blanket everyone. And in the end, he's just got to throw it away. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A nine-yard touchdown there. And the Eagles will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Elliott good with a PAT. And it's now 14 to nothing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. But no run back here. Fair catch, and this will come out to the 25. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. That'll be taken in by Shahid. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. play and they're already just shy of midfield in motion right Alave on first down Wilson He'll rifle this one deep right side. Oh, he had a man open. He overshot him. It's incomplete. Oh, and that's kind of how it's gone for him so far. That was a ball they need to get back in this game. A quick strike, a big play. But he led his guy too far, and it winds up over his head. Here's Wilson to throw. That's caught. This is a bad Akanda. Now a timeout signal for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Oh. 
The give now to Abana Kanda. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. That play wasn't quite as big as the play that preceded it, but still, gotta like the way they're moving the football, partner. Absolutely, pretty good room to run on that last play. Yeah, they didn't get a first down, but still, you'll take runs like that each and every time, won't you? So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. And this one, a 41-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good, and that will do it for this first half. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our scores. We are back underway on EA Sports. And able to get this out to the 25. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. And I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv and you run into a tough crowd. Now Hurts going to shift him around a bit. From the 27, Hurts. And he'll get this underneath, dropping it off for Barkley. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Barkley inside handoff. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. So from the 37, here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Hurts. Over the middle, complete. It's Brown. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and 10. They'll drop the throw. Flush to his right. And Hurts able to show off some of that elusiveness as he slides to the ground there and in the process picks up the first down. They'll send a receiver in motion to the left. On first down, Hurts to Barkley on the check down. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it's second down. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. Hey, 
Second down. Here's Hurts. He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Kudos for the defense from me on that one because they were prepared the whole way for him to try to escape and hit them for more yardage running it. I like the way they stayed zeroed in on him and kept him contained when he pulled the ball down. I think he was fortunate to get what he did on that run. Throwing his hurts. Eluding the pressure right. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. They'll come out in the pistol. will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. Elliott now to add the extra point. And it's 21 to 3. Makes the score Eagles 21, Saints 3. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Let's go. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. First down, they start out with a Banacanda. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. 63 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Third and one, Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down, and comfortably so, as he gets five there on third and a yard. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Well, partner, they certainly played up to their top 10 defensive ranking this week. They've stifled this opposing offense throughout this game. This contest is now lopsided because of their efforts, and there's still a quarter to go. And this shot downfield on second down is brought in. And he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. That's good for a Abana Kanda on first and 10. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards, and that'll bring up second down. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Got it. 
And they'll come up on a second and seven from the 27. Here's Wilson. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And they'll give to a band of Canada on the option. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. A six-yard pickup brings up second and goal. Now Wilson going to change things up here. Again, Abanacanda. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Israel Abanacanda with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Saints are finally into the end zone here in this fourth quarter. Extra point right down the middle. And it makes the score 21 to 10. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. Great, great, great. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Hey, let's go. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Now they'll change things around before the snap. shotgun they run with Barkley and he'll be upended at the 28 yard line just a three yard game there this defense starting to buckle down when they need to and right now they're winning this fourth quarter losing the game but they're winning in the fourth quarter and what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down so they obviously need the football need a score but they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge their gaps and have the offense hit them with a big play A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That is an absolute backbreaker. That was a design passing play, wasn't a draw. You think you got him stopped, good coverage downfield, and he's able to pick up the first with his legs. Defensively, that kicks into your psyche and hurts a little bit, doesn't it? It certainly does, and, and here's the thing. Anytime you give up a first down, it hurts you psychologically, but it hurts more when they get it this way, because you've covered everything. He didn't have any place to throw the football. He takes off running and picks it up anyway, and now you have to stay on the field for an extra set of downs. And really could have used that stop trailing here in the fourth. From the 43, here's a second and seven. Now Hurts on the option right. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a third down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. And they'll send the tight end in motion. Hurts. This one goes out wide for Barkley. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. 
Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. On the draw, this is Barkley. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips, they're bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it at them. We've got them now. And he'll work it inside the 30 to the 29-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. to contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Saquon Barkley with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Eagles look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. Elliott on for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. He's going to let it fly. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Looks like they're going to keep throwing till the bitter end. This one's long since over, but give them credit. They're going to go down fighting. That one, incomplete. Second and 10 now, Wilson. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson with a pick. And they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. For this defense, CD, that's kind of the icing on the cake here as we get to the end of this one. And didn't you feel that they weren't just going into total prevent there? You know, they had the lead, and sometimes you fall back and you lose your aggressiveness. Not in this case. They were still making a play on the football, and look how that one turned out. They may have salted this one away. On the tackle, Tyron Matthew. Now a second and six. Second and six at the Saints. 38-yard line. They'll run it again with Barkley. Flash the stick skills, but didn't get a ton from it. Stop short of the 35. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. First down marker at the 31. It's third down. Now Hurt's going to move him around. And now they'll shift things around. 63. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half, incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, it should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. So after four touchdowns in the game for this offense, this time they're forced into taking the three. But you did mention four touchdowns, right? So four out of five, not too bad. I think that's a pretty good record for them. Oh. 
And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 at the 24. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now Wilson on first down. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get there for the sack. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. They go play action now. Wilson. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. He's got it. Hit the 15. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans. Number two. As they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now it's Wilson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Wilson. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20 yard line. The D can only stop it one more time as they take the knee. So fly, Eagles fly. It's a victory for Philadelphia. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense.